Hey guys, this is Ray Ray Outdoors. Oh, Ray Ray Torres Outdoors. I'm in here at the uh, lake at Montgomery. The other side is Russell. Oh, it could be both. I don't know. And I'm in this lake right here. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Beautiful lake. Sunny's up there. And I'm trying to see if I can fish something. that video earlier and I forgot to put the zim cap so I'm trying to fish there's some small mouth in here there's some pickerel pike and some fungus seed and I think I don't know if I have a bite right now this moment but there's some catfish here I think I do got a I think I do have a no. I do. It's a catfish. It's pointing down, so it's a catfish. It could be a catfish. Small catfish. This small. Okay. Small catfish. And the only problem is this. This little suckers. They ate the whole thing yeah, I got it. Oh, there it so I won't have to okay. see what I got here okay I got a pair wait I got the uh, worm in the middle and I got the bobber on top when this goes down on the bottom this bobber goes up and and when it goes down this thing goes up too so the bobber goes up this goes up and it stays straight like that it depends how you if you're in the hill or something but if like if you're in a nice front place it might stay like sideways but they still or hang up like that that's a good thing for the like for trouts and stuff like that you're gonna get some trouts brown trout or other kind of fish okay let's try one more time okay yeah that's this is a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. My wife said it was raining. It's gonna rain, but it's gonna rain. And look, you can see, you can see the clouds. It's nice. It could rain later. I don't know. What? And somehow, it's good. I love it. This is a beautiful place, look at that. think about that huh guys being in the woods and the mountain high and you see this lake that's what I thought when I was um on bow season I said what a lake up here in this up in this mountain but it's a reservoir it's a reservoir small but well, good fishing here it's a lot of bass a lot of uh pickerels too well the pickerel likes is mostly is on music they catch them like around uh spring and fall once in a while you could catch them here but usually the mountains are more colder than the city and so like i said before Last week, I mean, not the, yesterday, yesterday, not last week. I was fishing down the dam on Lalo, and I want to do a, a catch and fish, a catch and, catch and cook. And then suddenly my battery ran out. 
I said, what? You can't be. But I couldn't do a catch and cook. I only had two pumpkin seeds. There's an area that I usually go for brown trout there, but no, no brown trouts this time. So, and again, you see this hat right here? I'm baldy, but it says uh, work sharp. It was given to me from Alaska Outdoors TV by Tim. He sent me this and a shirt and some um, sharpeners. Those are good sharpeners. I still I got them right there. Uh, I don't know if I can show you the sharpener. I have to have the sharpener somewhere in here. Hopefully. Fishing. I had it. I had it in my hand on my hand. Hmm. This is the chopper that I got. Hey. And plus a bigger one, bigger size. And they gave me a shirt with this hat. The shirt didn't fit me, but it's still good. That counts. Big guy like me with that little small shirt, you know what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna see my, my belly button. So this is a sharpener. This is nice. See? I used it a couple of times. You don't see the scratch, but I think that I use this side. But it's good. That's the more important thing. You have to have the sharpener around, otherwise. The knife will be all dull and everything. So guys, let me see. Let me let me try and see if I can get something here. There's something here that you can always charge. That's good. I think that I think that works for a for because my battery's still there. Uh, I can see in two more. Oh, I hope it works. I want this battery to be discharged. But if I catch something right now, I turn you guys on again, okay? Okay. Don't go.
Guys, that was a big fish. But let me see if I can cast. I could cast this thing over there. Let's see if I can cast something. Hope I don't get stuck. I can get stuck up there. Cause I have no, I have no idea why I'm. I'm not biting. Even if I throw far away or or, or close. Try and cast it over here. See if I can get a big fish. See if I can get something there. Wow. Oh, over here. Hmm. Oh man, I wish I could. Man, I wish I could get a fish. Let me try on this side. Let me try on this side, guys. I didn't get skunked today. Well, I didn't get skunked. I got a small catfish. I got a small catfish, so I didn't get skunked. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm still fishing and nothing else, nothing else, nothing else fishing. I got my pole with my pole right there. I'm trying to fish forward. I try to fish over there on the right side. Now I'm fishing to the left side. And there's some ladies here with some on the kayak. So I wanna try to see if I can cast it a little bit somewhere else. Over there, so Let's see if I get something right there. There's something here. It's a good place. It's nice and quiet. Other than some girl over there was choking. I don't know. She was coughing a lot. I don't know if she was sick of something. This one I'm trying to. 
can and see. Oh, wait a minute. We cut something with this stuff. Little froggy. I'm gonna try to catch something with this. So, you know, it's good for the pickerel. Alright. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down there. And, I don't know if you guys are gonna see me. But uh, I'll stretch that out. I'm gonna go right there in that corner. I think I put you in the wrong in the wrong spot. I'm supposed to put you over here. So you can see me. I had a bite on this thing. Man, it was a big fish too. But let me see if I can catch him. I know some rub baits that 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 um that you can fish and it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. There's a little like plastic worm that you hook up the worm right in the middle, and then you throw it and it's in. But I don't like the easy stuff. I like to fish with something like this, and something different. Even though if I don't catch nothing, I'll be proud of this stuff because sooner or later I'm gonna get something with it. I'm still fishing. I haven't caught nothing yet. Hopefully on that. Uh, 
fishing pole, I get something. I hope it's soon because the sun is down, it's 6.17 already. It's amazing. There's days you go fishing, nothing at all. There's days you go fishing and you go one after another. Today and yesterday was a poor day I'm fishing. Where's the fish? Is it all in the deep? You know, a few people on kayak, but you have to drag. You have to drag that kayak all the way down here, but it's lighter than the canoe. I got a canoe at home, but the canoe is very heavy. Very heavy. It needs two people to carry it. Well, I'm trying my best. Uh, I'm trying my best to do a good video and, and, and the way I see it I don't know if you see the line it's right there on the hemlocks and I even know I just it's crazy I wonder where the fish, one of those that I bought from Dick's Sporting Good. I wonder. How about these? And sporting Good, and Dick's Sporting Good. And it's good for the flounders and flukes. Because I tried it in the flukes in the ocean. Uh, two weeks ago yeah. or maybe three before I uh, got the GoPro and I got like nine nine flukes but because they have to be 19 inch so I'm they were 16 17 18 and a half 16 14 so I wonder if this thing is gonna work here. So, I think my fish came out. My little fishy came out. And they You know, cast it too, too hard. Cast too hard. When it's cast too hard, it's like you come out. You can't cast it too hard because they're, you know, they're dead fish. So sometimes the skin, the, the meat that I have, they already has due. So let me try this. Probably a turtle. Sorry, I get turtles in here. Or stew. Has to be big though. Small turtle now. It's okay. Let me try this for a couple of minutes. Five. five minutes, five, six minutes, and then I try something else. And probably I do go back to the worms again. Hopefully. Hope no catfish though. Unless it's the big catfish. The catfish is good. But usually here I always get those real small ones on them. So, hopefully, I get something here. See, the sun is almost down on the, where the trees are. 
Look at the beautiful, man. It's beautiful in the woods. Right behind there in those woods. Or oh, right there in the middle in the woods. There's uh, like a little paved road. There's a little dam over there, but no water is coming out. It's just uh, in case it's overflow, it goes down. But um, I usually come here and I see, you can hear the turkeys. And almost next week, the third bear season. So, guys, I know I'm recording this, but don't get mad. This is my second time. So it will get better, better, and better. And remember, it's Ray Ray Torres Outdoors. Um, let's see if I can catch something. I'm going to just let you go. And when I see that I got something, I turn you on again. Okay. Okay, everybody. I'm now shooting at this side. Right over there, are some guys fishing. He caught a bass. So I'm trying to catch something here. Hopefully. Seems like it's not my day. A good fishing day. You can see in the front over there, they're still biting. I mean, I can see them, they on the water on top, but it seems like they don't want to bite my bait. Usually, the sun is down where the trees are. This is the time for the biting. Let's see, maybe I could drag it a little bit in. See, oh, look at that, right there. It's gonna be something, a bass or something. At least something to bite. Okay, I got a bite. I got a bite. It same sounds like like it's a catfish. Uh, yeah, a catfish. Uh, I hope not, but it is. It's a catfish, I think. Catfish when they pull, they pull down. This one is going. Yeah, it's a catfish. Another catfish. And so, sort of the sucker up. Another catfish, catfish, catfish. There, but I just this catfish when they bite. Well, I gotta clean him because he already bleeding, and if I let him go, he's gonna die. So might as well clean it up. Hopefully, it doesn't fall in the water, or oh, I don't fall in the water. And there's rocks here so hopefully yeah it's a little it's not bad I mean for this lake it's not bad okay fish all I do is Oh, I forgot my clean my blade. My little knife this is the only thing I, I use for. Love this knife. Uh, I got more knife, but I like to use the small ones. I don't need to use a big one. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> no, 
now I gotta go down there again and clean it. Now I gotta go down there and clean this thing up. Let me bring this thing. It's a little slippery. Okay, catfish are slippery. Try to see if I can skin him. I'm trying to skin him if I can, but the only way I'm gonna skin him is because my knife is up there. Then I have to go down here again. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let you go, and I'll shut it off until I skin this thing, and then have everything to cook it, okay? And be right back. Hi guys, it's me again, and this is, I'm getting ready to cook the catfish. Uh, Pan is running. Running away. Pan is running away. Oh, well, I gotta put this thing a little bit up here. A little pan. There you go. It still runs. Yeah, it's a little bit of balancing. There you go. And I got my vegetable oil. Vegetable oil on, on a bottle. Okay. It doesn't burn on me yet. And I got my clean water to clean the fish. Fish. I brought some water to clean my fish. Okay. okay. I'm gonna fry them all. Some cuts. And a good recipe is the adobo. That's the recipe that I got. I got some recipe. I made some recipe for this, but remember, I haven't tasted catfish for the longest. Okay, get it ready to fry. Right at this moment, it's getting dark. It's getting really dark. So. Vegetable oil, catfish. This is the one that I got. Now, if I look around, there's, there's fish on top of the water messing around but right now I say the first fish that I caught was this I didn't let it go because it was dying and by the way if you come with trash you bring the food you bring water 
anything bottle, glass, cans, plastic, the way you went in, and the way you went out. The way out, you bring everything out. Keep the boards clean. Not like these people, they got cans everywhere around. And it's amazing how dirty, how people does that. I don't know why. But on my fish, I like the real cook. I mean, not as uh, crunchy, but. I don't know, that's always, always slow. Love it, cooked, real cooked, done, real done. And, you know, nowadays you gotta be careful with food. Anything is like bacteria or something, or worms that get in their body, or. So, I just letting you know that. That, that I'm cooking some cash and cook, cash and cook. I might not catch some other stuff, but I had a good bite earlier. Oh, I hear the phone. You know where my phone is. Hello. Hello. Ajá. Aquí pescando estoy, aquí pescando. Wow, me un pe, un gato, un, un pejecito, no, no ha cogido nada. Ahí, lo que cogí fue un, un caso, un pega por eso. Un barbuito. Y, y estoy haciendo un video. That's my brother, Elty. Pastor Luis, in Puerto Rico. No, ya media, como media hora más, se pone oscuro. Sí. Como media hora más. Como media hora más. I'm drinking brand new plates. Sí. I haven't brought no plate, but, you know. See, I've seen them be there, okay. Oh, oh brother. Uh-huh. I apologize, guys. Uh, that's my big brother. I don't like to disrespect, you know. Either shut the, the GoPro off, but I don't want to do that. But, you know, he's my big brother, so I gotta respect him. Even though I respect my little brothers too, but, you know, he's more. I don't have the, sometimes I don't have the chance to talk to him only during the night or during the day like this. You know, I'm at home. Okay. I think my fish is done, and all I got to do is try this thing is vegetable oil, you know where they do the camping here, I put it here.
Okay, guys. This. This is the time. <laughs> guys, this is the time to cook. My brother's still talking on the phone, but I'm talking to you guys. See? This is the time. Look at that. Beautiful and cooked, huh? I don't have nothing else with it, but. Mm. Wow. Guys, it's amazed me how good this thing is. I never eat catfish for a long time. Hmm. Good. Good. This thing. Wow. I haven't tasted this catfish for a long time. I think this thing was about 14, 15 years old. Because I I never I used to not taste them. The reason why? Because the meat was watery. Man, look at that. I didn't let them go because it it's all bony. Only one side of bone. One thing has the ribs that was taking the bones out. But hey, it was good. And it was damn good. I wish I had the time to get another one and cook it too, man. It is good. Yeah, Teo, lo viste? Guys, that was a perfect catfish. I, I don't know, it was small, you know, but I, I couldn't let it go. Even though there's no size of it, but it, I couldn't let it go. I had it, you know, I had to catch that cook. Right now, if I would have let him go, he was bleeding to the gills, and he would have died. Might as well have died in the, in the pan. <laughs> Well, dying in the pan. So, um, I'm happy. But you see, that's you. Yo, yo estoy aquí todavía en el monte. En el monte ya se está poniendo oscuro. Tengo que avanzar. Porque okay. no, hay, no hay que ver esto. Es los mosquitos que joden. Ay. It's an old stove that was given to me. And perfect. I want to get a new one. Perfect.
And I got my fruits. I love it. I love this cash and cook. You know what got me this here? I, I said it before. It was uh, Fisherman's Life. I was watching that on YouTube. And I started watching that and I said, oh, let me see if I could get a GoPro and do that. A cash and cook. You know, he's got me going. The weird, be the weird beard man. Uh, Alaska Outdoors TV and I'm trying my best even though my brother talks like hell but you know I can't stop him I'm getting ready to go home and I will shut you guys until the next time on Ray Ray Torres Outdoors and I appreciate it until the next time, okay? Say bye-bye.